I'm a real fan of monolithic ceramics, particularly on that incisal edge. So when do I cut back and when do I just add incisal characteristics using like a pace system? That's what this video is about. Let's row the intro. Having used CAD CAM for a number of years, I've made a transition from when I used to cut back and layer every incisal edge. And as the ceramics became stronger and stronger and stronger, I kind of wanted that strength on thin incisal edges. Particularly with Emacs, lithium disilicate is one of my favorites. And now that we have MT and HT, we can create a very thin incisal edge, gaining translucency. And all we have to do is add certain characteristics to get a nice illusion of of a cutback and that's what this video is all about most of my cases today if I'm using HT or MT I'm not cutting back anymore why because I like the strength of a monolithic incisal edge particularly on those horizontal chewers so if a patient has a lot of incisal wear they're not getting a cutback anymore in my clinical theater they're getting monolithic ceramic Emacs with the illusion of translucency so let's review on how we're gonna do that. One of my favorite systems today is called Ivacolor. The reason for that is because I can use it as a paste. A paste has colors and it has consistency so it doesn't run all over that ceramic surface. One thing nice about a paste is that it will allow us to add high value, low value, and different color characteristics without them becoming muddy. So we can do that all with one application. And the Avicolor paste has a tendency not to blotch. If you use a stain and make a stain too saturated, it's gonna blotch. And then that's disappointing. My goal when I'm working on a ceramic is to make that my coloring palette. The way we do that is to wet the ceramic first. In this case, we're using the Avicolor glaze paste mixed with a little bit of the long life liquid. And then we're gonna apply it to our ceramic surface. Make sure it's not too wet. With the right consistency, you don't want your colors to run. This becomes our coloring palette. Think of it as an art piece, and that will be more exciting for you. One thing I really like about Ivacolor is the paste aspects of this product. Now it comes in both a base shade and sazo shades. Those already come pre-mixed as a paste. And then we have the Essent colors. We mix those as a paste as well. My main color portfolio with this system when I'm working on incisal edges are gonna be this. It's gonna be the S1 incisal edge base color mixed 50% with the anthracite. That's the essence color. So we're gonna mix that 50-50. I just like the way that creates that subtle low value and it doesn't look sky blue. My favorite high value color in the Avicolor system is called cream. I don't use white very often. White's really, really intense. Even though we'll use it for characteristics such as decalcification and little subtle highlights and maybe vertical white lines, I don't use white too often. I prefer to use cream. It's a high value essence. We mix that to a paste consistency. Quite often when I apply the cream color, I'm gonna apply it on the incisal edge. It can often enhance that halo effect. And then we're gonna scribe it down and create a mamelon effect. The low value application outside of the incisal edge, you will see to be more highlighted in the primary depressions. That's how you divide up the mamelon effect on a surface. Of course, if you're matching teeth next door, you've got to match those teeth. But if this is a veneer case, you can have a lot of fun. With the 15 endodontic file, I'll take that cream color and just slightly stroke it down to create that mamelon effect. It's really subtle. White is used to create those subtle highlights, but be careful with the white. We're going to apply the white and then carefully diffuse that to give it just a little bit more of that natural look.
One way to highlight the mamelon effect is to take the cervical color for that case. Like if it's B or A or one of the others, take it and carefully add it along the side that separates the mamelon. That will give it a nice warm dentinal glow. You have to be very subtle with these colors, but it really starts to pop the mamelon effect. And that's a lot of fun to just really make it come to life. Once the color applications are completed, then we'll take a brush or the end, uh, yes, of my endodontic 15 file and we'll carefully mix and diffuse and define those colors so it has a proper effect. I do use loops during this period of time because less is more. So you, you want these colors to be subtle, but you want them to be diffused so they have a nice blend and flow to them. Another reason why I really like Ivy Color is as you apply this colored paste material, what you see on that surface is what you'll see when it comes out of the furnace. That's really nice for predictability. For instance, if you're just applying stain the way we used to do it, a lot of times the stain becomes more saturated. The Ivy Color is pretty much what you see is what you get. The other nice thing about Ivacolor, particularly in the cervical area, is that you can add more chroma and gradation effect without blotching. That's because it's a paste. The way I do that in my clinical theater is add a little more glaze in the cervical area to make sure it's wet enough to receive the color, but not too wet. Then add the cervical color that you desire along that margin area, and with a brush, just diffuse it. Diffuse it, create that nice gradation, but the natural dye is important to understand how much color you do need to apply. Quite often in my clinical theater, I don't apply cervical color because I'm relying on the shine through from the preparation and the cement color to make it blend in. You will find that the incisal effects here will each be complete with each step. Even though we have multiple steps, after step one, when we just add the low value, in some cases, that may be enough. If you want a little bit more, you just go to the high value step. That could be enough. Then if you really want to have fun, you can add some other Mabillon effects in high values and color values. So what's nice about this system that we're learning today is that you can stop with step one or maybe step two or step three but it gives you a lot of creativity so you can really master your craft on coloring incisal edges to create the illusion of an incisal cutback but yet have the strength of a monolithic disilicate incisal edge and that's emax have a good time now